So in this video, I want to show you how to calculate your MOD or max operating depth while using nitrox. And in this case, we're going to use Dalton's triangle. So let's do that. I just want to talk about how to calculate your max operating depth while using nitrox or elevated oxygen. So why is that important to divers? Well, as you know, right here at the surface, one atmosphere of pressure, air that we breathe has 21% oxygen, 78% nitrogen, and then like 1% of trace gases. So those are partial pressures. And by the way, we also have a video coming out about exactly what partial pressures are. Uh, so if you want to watch that, you can. But right now, we're just going to assume you know what they are, and we're going to calculate that. And so what we mean by enriched air or nitrox is anything above 21%, so 22% O2 and higher, or in recreational diving, 22% to 40%. All right, cool. So we all know that that's common knowledge, but why is knowing your max operating depth uh, important to divers? Well, if you remember right in your nitrox courses or maybe your open water, Oxygen has its depth limits, and if we exceed those limits, we risk getting a CNS or oxygen toxicity, which is obviously a bad thing. Uh, but all in all, oxygen is a really good thing, so we want to be able to maximize our amount of oxygen that we use in our gas mixes and our breathing gas uh, while still staying safe. So we figure out what gas we're using, and then we want to calculate our max operating depth to make sure we're not exceeding those limits, all right? Now, we also might remember that at every 10 meters or 33 feet in salt water, uh, our one bar of pressure goes up another bar. So the partial pressure of oxygen, maybe it was 21% here on the surface, it goes up to uh, 42 at just 10 meters and then so on and so on and so on and it has its limits before it turns toxic. So as you probably remember in your nitrox or your open water course, we set those oxygen partial pressure limits or your PPO2 to 1.4. That's, that's a conservative number, but we set our computers and our limits at 1.4 partial pressures of oxygen just to play it safe. So let's use the Dalton's triangle. All right, it's just a, just a simple triangle like this. And this is SDI, TDI. Um, I've seen PADI courses where they use a circle. I've seen SSI where they use a, a, the, the diamond. It's all the same, all right? So here is the formula. It is PPO2 divided by our pressure times our F Oh, two. Now, all we really need, if we have two of these numbers, we can find out the third, all right? So, we already know what our PPO2 is. We just set it. We want to keep it at 1.4, all right? And we're going to divide that by this one. What we're looking for is our depth, right? Our max operating depth. This says P for pressure, but a little bit later, we'll just convert our pressure to depth and we'll have that. So this is what we're looking for. This is what we have. So FO2 is just a fancy way of saying our fraction of gas. So let's let's use 32% as an example. 32% uh, is pretty popular. All we have to do is take that 32%, convert it to a decimal or a fraction. And we got 0.32. Okay, so this is our PPO2, this is our FO2, and it will equal our pressure, okay? So we just take our calculator real quick, 1.4 divided by 0.32, and we get 4.375 bar. Okay, just remember we're using bar. And so there we go. Our MOD with 32% nitrox is 4.37 bar or atmospheres. 
All right, we check our SBG. I can go at 32%, I can go to four point, oh, I don't have atmospheres on my gauge, I got meters. So all we have to do is convert this to meters. So what I'm gonna do is 4.375, that's a five. I'm gonna minus one because of the surface. That's the surface pressure. Like we said, there's one bar of pressure here on the surface. I don't wanna count that. I just wanna know the pressure of all the weight of the water above me. That obviously gives us 3.375 atmospheres, ATM. Okay, so you remember from your open water course that every 10 meters is another atmosphere, right? Or 33 feet if you're on the Imperial system, or I think it's 34 feet in uh, fresh water. So what I wanna do is 3.375 times 10 meters. This is my atmosphere ATM times meters and it should come out to 33.75 meters. Okay, and there you have it. So my max operating depth for 32% nitrox is 33 meters. I'm just going to round it down to be a little bit conservative. Okay. So now we know our PPO2, our FO2 and our pressure. All right. So this is kind of simplified. I hope you guys, uh, I hope that was a good enough explanation for you, but you know, another way, another way you could do this is if you took, maybe you knew how deep you're going. Maybe you have a wreck that is 40 meters and you just want to go there with as much oxygen as possible without hitting your limits. All right, so what's 40 meters? That's like a five bar, right? Five atmospheres. Then you would just do your PPO2 1.4 divided by five. You'll get your FO2 and then you can plan your dive on the best possible nitrox mix. Uh, based on that dive. Maybe you're at 24 meters, 20, you know, whatever it is, if you're planning your dive, you can set that in and it'll tell you what is the best mix you can use with the most uh, amount. Oh, and by the way, I told you I was going to give you a little quiz at the end. So let me do that. Why don't you guys in the comments below, tell me the max operating depth for air, just plain old 21% oxygen air. All right, let me know in the comments below. And if you've gone this far, you're a nerd like me, put a, put, put a little fish emoji in the comments below. Let me know you've watched the whole video. All right, see you soon.